Over the years, neonatal ventilator manufacturers have used a variety of ways of controlling the ventilation a baby receives. These include valves, membranes and pistons in a multitude of configurations, but each of these systems can be problematic. Some can stick, causing inadvertent peep, others may leak or be assembled incorrectly, and they all need to be cleaned properly to prevent cross-contamination. The SLE 6000 uses SLE's unique valveless system to deliver extra power and more safety for your patients. A typical neonatal patient circuit consists of an inspiratory limb and an expiratory limb. A patient Y allows the circuit to be connected to the patient's ET tube, and a constant 8 litres of heated and humidified blended gas is fed through the circuit. This is known as the fresh gas or bias flow, and usually exits the rear of the ventilator without having any effect on the patient. The SLE 6000's valveless system is contained within an exhalation block that connects to the expiratory limb ready to control the flow. Inside this block are two turrets that feature three directional jets. When you want the patient to receive a breath, a forward-facing jet gives a controlled pulse of air. This acts as a pneumatic piston, adding to the bias flow and diverting gas into the patient's lungs via the Y connector. This pulse enables the delivery of breaths for each patient to be dynamically controlled. Increasing the rate will increase the number of breaths. Increasing the inspiratory time of each pulse will result in longer breaths. There is also the option to shape and control each breath by adjusting the rise time, as well as modifying the pressure of each pulse that is delivered to the patient. A consistent feature of any mode is a second, forward-facing jet delivering optional CPAP or PEEP. Unlike a mechanical valve, air has no significant inertia or delay. Therefore, using the same jet, the rate can be increased easily up to 20 Hz or 1,200 breaths per minute, whilst managing the flow and pressure with immense precision. This enables the SLE 6000 to give high-frequency oscillation ventilation. It works using a third rear-facing jet, which alternates with the forward-facing jet to create a negative flow thereby facilitating active expiration and aiding in the clearance of carbon dioxide. The second forward-facing jet is now used to control the mean airway pressure. The SLE 6000 valveless system overcomes all of the issues that traditional neonatal ventilators present, instead providing medical practitioners and patients alike with a simpler, safer and more effective system.